<laughs> always delivering for us. Coach, congratulations, not only on a Pac-12 championship, but now a trip to Pasadena for the Rose Bowl. Put into context what tonight actually feels like. Oh, you can't put it into context. You could just be proud and just love up the players and really thank the players. That's one of the first things we did was thank them for their buy-in to such a, a demanding blueprint, you know, because they, you know, these guys were 4-8 and eight coach just a couple of years ago, and now they sit here as Pac-12 champs with a chance to go to the Rose Bowl and, and play a great football team on the biggest stage in college football. So uh, how do you put that into words, right? Well, Coach, I'm curious because obviously you had – it was funny. You, as I'm watching the game, you got two different types of guys. You got Kevon Thibodeau, who's one of the uh, number one recruit in the country, and the way he went off tonight. But then you had a guy in the secondary who was just fighting to survive, a guy like Brady Breeze who, you know, were you out recruiting, you know, his talent level and things. And then next thing you know, he's playing on fire with the huge stop on fourth down. Then all of a sudden he gets the big interception that basically kills a drive on a route that, you know, that Tyler Huntley thinks he has, that he's got it locked up and he baits him into throwing the higher post. And then another big hit, uh, you know, in the passing game and then another huge one on another fourth down. I mean. What does it mean when you see those guys, that guys who are walking in the door that are making plays and guys who are veterans that were able to put you over the top? It's, you know what, it's, it's a way that they practice. It's a way that they approach this entire thing. Um, Brady is a special guy. He really is. I mean, he lives and dies for the University of Oregon. Obviously, family roots there and everything that goes with it. He's been playing at a really high level. So, well, I don't know if we're trying to out-recruit that guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing just fine as he is. But, you know, it's just that this team just – they, we do things a certain way, and they'll tell you that. You know, we walk a certain way, we talk, so we practice a certain way, we train a certain way, so we could show up on Fridays and Saturdays a certain way, and that's what you had tonight. Mario, I thought, to your credit, that I thought the game tonight would be won in the trenches. I really did. And particularly, I thought this stout Utah D-line against this massive, tough, physical offensive line and boy, as an O line guy, you got to be proud. That O line was outstanding. Well, they appreciate you saying that. I can't praise them because they'll think I'm like crazy because they know it doesn't come from me. But Coach Mirabal, um, that offensive line, Alik Terry, the, the offensive GA, the amount of pride of, of, you know their names, right? Calvin Throckmorton. You've said their names forever. Shane Lemieux, right? Jake Hansen, Brady Yellow, Dallas Warmack, Panay Sewell. I mean, the way these guys approach the game of football is the way you're supposed to do it. And we you watched our practices now. We, we bang it up, and they're pretty good. But you have to do that to be able to do that late in the season. These guys didn't flinch when we went full throttle, full pads on Tuesday on a short week and went out there for two hours and, and mixed it up. So there's a result. It's validation of the hard work. I want to take you back because it might be to the day a couple years ago when the players walk into Rob Mullen's office and they're competing to get you to become the head coach. I saw your interview with Ashley earlier, and you, you seemed a little emotional, and, I, and I'm not trying to go there unless you want to, but <laughs> how, does it, how does it feel? Here we are. Guys fought for you, and you've delivered to lead this team to this game. You're not going to make me cry, so <laughs> <laughs> we could stop right there. It's, you know what it does? Look, I'm blessed beyond words to be a member of the University of Oregon. I mean, so many greats have come before, and we – our job is to uphold the legacy, and I, I love these guys. I love them, and you you work 24-7. You try to find a way to get 26-9 now. You try to find extra hours, extra minutes to do more for them because they went to bat for you. And so I indebted to them for the rest of my life. I thought your offensive game plan was outstanding tonight. I thought you guys were spot on. You were dialed in, almost like you knew what they were doing on every play. Oh, Coach Arroyo and staff were off the charts. I mean, we knew watching film, they're going to mug you up. They're going to play press man coverage. They have the guys to do it. They had the guys to knock you back, so the quarterback was going to have to be a factor in the run game as well. He did that. The receivers were going to have to be a factor in the run game as well. They were. They're, they're just as responsible for those big runs as anybody else. Coach, we're running out of time here, but I'd be remiss if I didn't bring up your team's defense. I thought that was the difference in this game. How proud are you? Off the charts. To go an entire half, not allowing any points. Um, just the, the play of all of them, just combined. The way they communicated, aligned. You watch all those shifts in motion. That's difficult now real difficult and the way that we got downhill those linebackers just getting downhill just taking on blockers shedding blockers getting to the football 
when that ball was swung out to the flats, the DBs getting there as well. Those guys were awesome to watch all night, made an impact. Coach, it was awesome watching your football team, not only tonight in the Pac-12 championship game, but all season long. Congrats on the success. Stay healthy. Safe travels to Pasadena in a couple weeks. We will see you there for the Rose Bowl. I know that's got to feel pretty good. Yes, sir. And that ice bath. I you know those <laughs> two. The civil, two. Two. Of them. I got twice. So whoever, <laughs> uh, someone's going to run. A by lot the way, you're Tuesday. like in the middle of this wind tunnel right now. Yeah, I it's know. a lot of fun, man. You, you guys are hell bent <laughs> on something. <laughs> 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 Mario Cristobal, good enough to spend a couple of minutes for us.